everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be another full face of first impressions. I have a ton of new products to try out today, and I am so excited. By the way, there is like a crazy thunderstorm going on right now, so I'm sorry if you guys hear the thunder in the background. I it It's like I'm waiting for it to start pouring down rain, but it's like 4 o'clock and it hasn't yet, so... Don't know what that's about, but anyway, I am really excited. I have some newly released products as well as some products that I've had for a while, but I just haven't tried yet, so it should be a fun video. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. By the way, I wanted to show you guys my shirt really quick. If you all don't follow me on Twitch, I would really appreciate it if you did. I will have it linked down below in the description box. I live stream um, several days a week, and we have an amazing community. We we have a discord where it's basically like a giant group chat and it's super awesome I highly recommend checking it out if you guys haven't already and I was actually so surprised by this package that I received from some of my troll tribe members that's what we call like our group over there the troll tribe <laughs> and um, they all like pitched in and sent me and Jarvis this amazing package and I opened it we opened it on live stream and I seriously was bawling my eyes out because I was like crying so much um, but this shirt was included and I just thought it was so cute and I had to show you guys so it says use code page for 10% off of blingedbrushes.com so yeah I don't know I just thought that was really cute so thank you guys so much thank you to the troll tribe I really really appreciate it they also actually they sent me a whole box of stuff as well as Jarvis and um this is something that like <laughs> when I opened it this is so random total random tangent I'm sorry I'm gonna get into the video in a second um but they actually contacted bling brushes which obviously I love bling brushes and um, they asked if Courtney could help them out with something and this is it it says hashtag troll tribe isn't this the most beautiful thing you have ever seen in your entire life I I I am like still speechless over this so thank you to everyone that was a part of this seriously it was the best thing that's like ever happened to me <laughs> it was so meaningful and you guys are literally my family so thank you so much i'm gonna try to figure out like where to put this i've had it like sitting in the background of my live streams i was thinking about like hanging it up here <laughs> like right there or something i don't know we'll figure it out but super super cute so thank you so much to courtney for helping them out and thank you to everybody that was part of that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into <laughs> people face of first impressions that thunder is insane. Um, so for primer, I'm gonna try this out. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I actually am pretty sure that I bought this in December. I'm pretty sure this is something that Jarvis picked out for me when he was living in Orlando during Vlogmas. I think that's when this is from. Honestly, I don't know. I might be completely wrong, but that's uh, what I'm thinking. So we're just gonna go with that. It still has the uh, plastic on it. So we know I haven't used this before. I know that the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer is like the one that's all the rage, but um, I've tried it. I like it. It's not like my favorite thing ever, um, but I am excited to try this one out. Oh, okay. So it's actually white. I thought it was gonna be pink because the bottle is like a slight pink color. Um, but it's actually just a white consistency. It feels very silicone-like, which I'm personally not a really big fan of. I just feel like it makes my face really slippery. It smells like tea tree oil. Oh, this is an overwhelming scent. I feel like my skin looks so pink. Um, this is an overwhelming scent of tea tree oil. <laughs> I like, can't breathe. So we're actually already off to a not so good start. Typically scents don't bother me. Like I use scented makeup products all the time, but this, whew, this is something else. I wonder if it says, okay, so there's some ingredient and then in parentheses it says tea tree leaf oil. Way too overpowering. If you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the scent because that is a lot. It pretty much just feels like any other like pore filling silicone based kind of primer. Um, this does have dimethicone in it. That's the number one uh, ingredient. So yeah, moving on. I have a foundation which 
I don't know if it's gonna match me, but we're gonna try. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I actually bought this a really long time ago, but I have not even pumped it. So <laughs> this is a new product as well. Um, I am a fan of the matte foundation. I have this in the shade 260, and I have the matte foundation in the shade 280. I'm getting a little bit concerned because the pump is not working. <gasps> oh, there it goes. <laughs> so I have to kind of squeeze the tube and pump at the same time in order to get product out, so that's kind of funky, but okay i have my damp sponge here this is the storm sponge from juno and co i've been really liking this sponge i've been using it over my real techniques one recently and it's just really soft i like how big it gets so hmm <laughs> it looks a little bit too dark a little bit kind of orangey on my skin right here i'm not sure how it's picking up on camera but in real life it definitely looks a little bit orange but that's okay, I have concealer and powder and we should be able to fix it. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I was just reading the back of the bottle just to like see what the claims were and it says um, hydrating longwear foundation and then it says massage well. If needed, pump and squeeze tubes simultaneously to release air. So <laughs> I like, you know, problem solved without even reading the recommended solution. So that's interesting. I will say that the coverage of this foundation is really, really nice. I'm experiencing a little bit more acne than I typically have been. Um, and this really covered up my redness very well. So that is exciting. So far, I'm loving the foundation. I feel like if I had like one shade lighter, it would match me a little bit better, but that's okay. It's summer. <laughs> um, for concealer, I have this one here. This is from NYX. This is the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. And this is in the shade, um, I don't know. This is in the shade Vanilla. It was on like the cap right here. I was like, how is there not a shade name on here? Um, so this is what it looks like. I was expecting a doe foot applicator. I don't know when I bought this. Honestly, it was quite a while ago. <laughs> um, so I guess we're just gonna squeeze the tip until some concealer comes out. I haven't heard anybody talk about this concealer, so I'm interested to see how it works. It says that it's a radiant concealer. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Ooh, I actually really like that color. This concealer is so full coverage. Like, oh my gosh, I put way too much. Next, we're gonna move on to bronzer, and I'm going to be trying out this Fenty Cream Bronzer again. I have tried this once, I think, and I'm not very skilled with cream products, so we're just gonna go ahead and give it a shot, see how it goes. I'm actually just gonna use like the butt of the uh, beauty sponge here and see what we can do with this. I have this in the shade but a biscuit by the way so technically it's not like a first first impression but honestly I have zero recollection of using this so <laughs> I try so many new products that everything just kind of blends together sometimes and I have to go back to my videos to reference them and be like what did I think about this <laughs> like I can't remember all right so I went in with a pretty light hand I feel like I mean I did layer it up but it's nothing super, super intense. So I am gonna go ahead and set my face with powder. I am going to be using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Um, and I actually have used this once before and I recall not liking it. So I thought I would give it another shot um, and see how it goes. I'm just gonna take the angled part of this sponge and set my under eye by the way I have this powder in the shade oats which is their translucent shade and I'm just gonna take my bling brushes f13 with more of that powder to just dust over the rest of my face and kind of knock off that bake all right so now that our face is set <laughs> I'm honestly scared to look because from far away it looks horrendous Oh my god, this is bad. My under eye area looks horrendous. The center of my forehead here looks horrendous. I feel like it's the concealer though because it only looks bad where I put the concealer. Like my cheek here looks fine. Um, yikes, that's rough. Okay, well, also the bronzer is like gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is why I don't use cream face products because I always set my face with powder after and then the, the it's like gone. Like where did it go? So I guess I'm just gonna have to pick a different bronzer and just go for it. So I went ahead and bronzed my face with a powder bronzer that is not new to me because I don't have a new one. <laughs> this is the Fenty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I love the color. It's perfect for my skin tone. So just wanted to mention that I just feel like cream bronzers and blushes just aren't meant for me. Just the way I do my makeup, they're, they, I can't do it. Like they look so natural and nice, but once I set everything with powder, which I have to do because I have such oily skin, it's almost like I didn't even do anything. So yeah, not saying this is a bad product. I just don't think that it's fits my personal routine very well. Um, for blush though, we have a powder product. <laughs> this is from Morphe and you guys can actually use code GLAMFAM414 for $5 off your purchase of $10 or more. So just wanted to throw that out there. It's in the description box of all of my videos, but this is so gorgeous. This is the blush trio in the shade Pop of Peach. I cannot wait to try out this middle shade here. This is in the shade Creator and I think that peach blushes are absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to try this one out. So let's see, ooh, that is pigmented, wow. I am using my bling brushes F14 from the Starry Nights collection and this color, this blush, this everything is so pretty. I don't know what it is about peachy blush that I love so much, but it's gorgeous. So that was the middle shade there, love this. The other shade names are called Maker and the other one is called Influencer, which I think is super cute, I love that. So now for brows, um, I'm actually going to be trying out a product from Patrick Ta. This is the Patrick Ta Four Brows Shaping Wax in the shade Clear. I bought this a while ago and don't know if I can open this or not. This is what it looks like, I have not used it yet. I also purchased the brush that goes along with it. But first I am going to comb through my brows a bit. My brows are looking rough, I know. <laughs> and I'm just going to touch them up up with this Morphe brow pencil which I think I've used this like a couple times but this brow pencil is in the shade latte by the way I love how skinny this brow pencil is like it's really good at getting a nice fine line so now we have this and I didn't watch <laughs> a video on how to use this but there are instructions so it says activate the formula with a drop of setting mist or water brush a spoolie or a firm brush into the pan to pick up a small amount of wax and then brush through clean brows in an upward outward motion shape as desired okay so maybe I shouldn't have put the <laughs> brow pencil in first but you know what oh well so for setting spray I'm actually trying this out today this is the power up dual phase setting mist from in beauty project so yeah let's give it a go I'm pretty sure that I got this product in a boxy charm possibly I'm not too sure upward outward motion okay <laughs> definitely gonna need more water and I see why it says to do a clean brows because my spoolie is getting dirty from having um like brow product in okay so um I guess there we have the brows I know a lot of people like to do the really like fluffy brow with brow soaps and brow waxes and things like that but I just feel like it doesn't look right on me but I do still like to use them they really hold my brows in place one that i really like is this one from guilty cosmetics they are a uk based brand and i purchased this and this is their first scent it's called strawberry sweetness and this is what it looks like so there's like a hole in there and then you spray water in you take the spoolie you go around do the same thing pretty much and they actually just released a new scent which is bubble gum and they also have come out with another scent since uh, this one came out, which is watermelon, so they have three total. I actually just placed another order for the bubblegum and the watermelon, so I can't wait for those to get here. Um, but yeah, I really like this one, and this is a very similar kind of product, I guess. Um, so yeah. So my eyelids are looking quite scary. Um, 
I, I, I really think it was that concealer, which I am not a fan of this already. <laughs> I don't know. That's a little funky. But uh, we are going to be using a new eyeshadow primer today. This is the uh, KVD Vegan Beauty Shake Primer. And it says that it is a high impact eyeshadow primer. It says to shake well, remove cap push button on the bottom of the bottle to dispense one drop use your finger to blend onto lids let dry for a few seconds before applying eyeshadow so I featured this in a recent haul and a lot of you guys seemed interested in this product as well so it's kind of like one of those dual phase products where there's like a clear liquid and then there's also like a second liquid in there so this one has like a black liquid <laughs> very odd so we're gonna go ahead and shake this up to mix it up and then this is what it looks like here and you're just gonna push the oh we'll try that one more time <laughs> you push the bottom button to get a little drop and then you put this on your eyelid oh my goodness this is super liquidy this is so odd <laughs> um okay well interesting it feels kind of oily actually so let's just go ahead and do the same over here oh god it like went underneath my nail <laughs> okay let's try again shoot i feel like okay okay we got it we got it we got it you have to work quickly with this otherwise it's gonna drip down your face i'm not sure how practical this product is <laughs> But we'll see how it performs. It doesn't really look like anything, I don't think. My eyelids look so, like, scaly and weird. <laughs> so for eyeshadow, we're going to be using the Maddie Ziegler and Morphe palette. This is the Imagination palette. This is what it looks like. And I was looking at this palette before I started filming today, and I was like, you know what? This is actually a really beautiful palette. So I think there are, there's a mixture of colors and neutrals. I think I'm going to do more of a neutral look today just because I feel like, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of colorful looks recently and I feel like most people that would purchase this palette would probably be more like, you know, likely to use the more neutral colors. So let's go ahead and give it a go. I'm going to start by taking the shade Maddie Girl, which is this really pretty matte peachy pink color and I'm placing this on an M535 from Morphe and we're just going to run this through the crease. I don't know about this eyeshadow primer guys. Alright so the color is very subtle but it does add a nice pinky peachiness to the crease so next we're gonna go in with a matte brown. I'm gonna go in with this shade here which is called Latte. And I will take this on an M433, and I'm going to start by tapping this in that outer corner, and then also bringing it through the crease just like this. My eyelids are so dry. Like, they look like the, the skin is peeling because of that eyeshadow primer. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, that looks so weird. Like, I literally feel like I can see skin peeling off of my eyelids, so. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that shade Matty Girl, just on the edge of that shadow, just to kind of bring back a little bit of that peachiness, just so we don't lose it. So I went ahead and swatched some of the metallic shades on the back of my hand because I'm trying to figure out where to go next. And these all look so beautiful. This one here has like little glitter pieces in it. This one is called To The Moon. I'm definitely going to use that today. This one is called God Mom. This one is called Godfather. This one is called Dancing Queen. And then this one over here is called and back so it's like to the moon and back so we're definitely gonna be using to the moon but i feel like i need to deepen up my eyes even more i just feel like this isn't doing it for me so i am gonna go in with the shade m3 which is this one here i feel like it might be a little bit deeper than latte which is what we have on our eyes currently i'm just gonna use the same brush that i was using before so there actually wasn't much of a difference there other than it being a much warmer eyeshadow um like more of like a chocolatey brown instead of like a cooler ashy brown um and there's not like a deeper brown in the palette so 
maybe that's as deep as we can go um i guess i'm gonna go ahead and apply to the moon i'm gonna try to apply it with a brush this is an m224 let's see if it applies with the brush all right i can't really use my fingers because i have long nails again um so hopefully this works that is so bomb like oh my god so there is a bit of fallout with that shade but this brush applies it so well like look at that that is stunning i just wish i had a little bit of like a deeper brown to put in this outer corner next i'm going to take an m152 and i'm going to go in with the shade angel which is this one here it looks like it has a little bit of like a metallicness to it it looks like a oh it's pink wow that was unexpected um hmm kind of vibes with the peachy color that we used but i was expecting more of like a champagne kind of highlight color my base makeup looks so bad <laughs> i can't get over it like every time i look in the mirror it looks horrendous I'm gonna take a little bit more of the shade M3 and run this along my lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and put on mascara now. Um, I'm gonna be trying this Carity Bold Mood Mascara. The packaging is so cute. Um, this says, big mood, even bigger lashes. No flake, no clump, no smudge. It's been a while since I've tried a new mascara and I got this one sent to me as PR, so. I figured it would be a fun thing to try out. Ooh, I like the packaging. It's like a white square. I've never seen anything like this before, like for mascara. Ooh. <gasps> the brush looks super nice. It's like a bristly brush. I love brushes like this. I'm not a big fan of like rubber mascara ones, so I feel like I'm going to really like this, but we will see. Okay, so here is the difference between mascara and no mascara. This is the most, like, like, I could fool people into thinking that I wasn't wearing mascara, but, like, my lashes look so amazing. I have never used a mascara like this before. Like, no joke. This is the least clumpy mascara I've ever used in my life. It combs through the lashes. It separates them out so nicely. And it like doesn't even look like you have mascara on but like in the best way possible <laughs> this mascara is so beautiful I'm I'm not over it <laughs> I love this so much Wow okay Wow <laughs> next we're gonna go ahead and put on some highlighter I'm gonna be using this one from Cody Aerospun this is the loose face highlighter in the shade snow much ice I'm gonna use my f17 from the starry nights collection and I'm just gonna take a little bit of what's in the cap here oh, oh my god okay <gasps> whoa that is a lot that is a lot whoa this brush really like buffs it into the skin and just kind of like melts everything together so pretty I might put some of this on my brow bone and inner corner just to brighten things up a little bit because I feel like I want a little something more there let's take a little bit of that highlighter and put that on the brow bone oh yeah that makes such a big difference the other shade that I put there it, it had like a pink duochrome to it and had a little bit of a sheen but this is what I want. You can see the difference from that to that. This highlighter is bomb. I want to try, I want to see if they have any like other colors, like maybe like a more golden one. I typically like a little bit more of like a gold highlighter. I don't know, I just feel like it complements my skin tone a bit better, but this is so pretty. So I'm realizing that I completely forgot to pull a lip product to try out today. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this setting spray, this is that dual face setting mist that I mentioned earlier. It says that it helps set makeup and then energize and revive the skin and it filters away dull, tired, and stressed complexion. And then it says glow, hydrate, energize, use under makeup to prep skin, over makeup to set your look and throughout the day to refresh tired skin. It is cruelty free and vegan. So let's go ahead and give it a go. It definitely is like one that you need to shake up because there's two like layers, so. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot. It smells good. 
wow that like really gave some like dewy life into my skin let me look at it up close whoa my complexion was looking so bad it still isn't looking the best like it doesn't look amazing but it looks so much better now that's crazy. All right, let me go pick out a lip. All right, so I don't recall ever trying these before on my lips, but maybe I have, maybe I just don't remember, but these are lipsticks from EXO Beauty. This is Shade XO's makeup line. She has brushes, lipsticks, and then a couple of other products, I believe. So I have two shades that I ordered. We have Ubuntu and Deja Vu. So let me go ahead and swatch these. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. That one is called ubuntu ubuntu i hope i'm saying that right and then that one is more of like a peachy this is deja vu hmm i'm actually gonna go with deja vu it has almost like a a matte formula i'm actually gonna mix those two colors <laughs> oh it smells so good all right and then i'm gonna pop a little bit of gloss on top this is the kylie gloss in the shade one in a billion i just randomly picked this one Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. It turned out a lot more natural and everyday than I thought it would, but I actually really like it. So, at least for the most part. I like how it turned out for the most part. Let's do a quick little run through of the products. So, first off, the primer. Was not a fan of this. It's way too scented and I'm already not a big fan of the silicone based primers, which most pore filling primers are kind of like that, but not all of them are. I was hoping this one wasn't, but it definitely was. So, this was a flop for me personally um the foundation i'm gonna say i really enjoyed the foundation i wish i had a little bit lighter of a shade but it definitely works like my foundation shade is fine it works um it's a hydrating foundation which i feel like it's more of a natural finish foundation it's not super dewy or anything like that nothing too much for my oily skin to handle at least not yet we will see though um but so far i would say the foundation I really like it. I like the coverage and I love how many shades there are. So that's obviously a plus. The concealer is horrible. <laughs> my under eye area looks like a train wreck. You can see right through to my bare skin. My little forehead and nose looks horrible right where I applied that concealer. I thought I liked it at first, but this was a no. That's a no. <laughs> um, what else? The powder, I feel like it's all right. I don't know uh, I just have so many other powders that I prefer so much over this one so it's not something that I would necessarily recommend I just feel like my skin looks very like I don't know I just feel like hmm, it's hard to explain obviously I do use a lot of powder so it would be normal for my face to look powdery but it just looks powdery in a not typical way if that makes sense the cream bronzer, I feel like these are great if you're a cream product person. I am not, however, so this isn't something that I'm probably going to be reaching for very often. However, the bronzer that I used instead, <laughs> the Shady Biz bronzer, is amazing. I highly recommend that one. This blush trio is beautiful. This center color right here, Creator, love it so much. They have a couple of different shade variations in this. I think I have like a more purpley one as well um but this one is amazing if you guys like the morphe blush formula i think these are great they're nice little you know versatile mini palettes essentially so definitely a fan of that i feel like i hated this eyeshadow primer but i'm definitely gonna have to try it again with a different concealer it could have been the concealer that i had on my eyes that made it look so funky or it could have been this this seems very impractical and i don't like how liquidy it is i wasted like five drops of this product so that's not amazing and it is a very small product so i just wasted like five uses but i don't know don't know about this one i'm gonna have to keep playing with it the brow wax i feel like was nice i don't think it was anything spectacular that i've never tried before this guilty cosmetics one is just as good and i'm pretty sure this is less expensive so and look at how cute it is <laughs> i love that um but i don't really have anything bad to say about this product other than it's really hard to open like i don't understand like there's there's no way to like open it because the the top like i don't know it's impossible so <laughs> that one's just 
I'm kind of impartial to. These lipstick colors are really pretty on their own, but I feel like mixing them makes a really, really gorgeous nude. Love those. What else? Oh, the eyeshadow palette. I feel like overall I enjoyed the eyeshadow palette. Like I said, when you really look at it, it actually is a gorgeous palette. I love these like pastel kind of colors here, but then you also have a ton of neutrals. You can like mix and match. You can go all colorful, all neutral, or do a little something in between. And this color here to the moon, that's my favorite shade in the entire palette. Super cute. I really do like it. I like that it has a mirror. I think the packaging is cute and it's a collab with um, a, a, a person, so. <laughs> the mascara is amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite products from today's video. Like, wow, beautiful. I highly recommend this mascara. This is the Carity Bold Mood Mascara, once again. Then we have the setting spray, which honestly, sometimes setting sprays, I just kind of do it just to like do it, and it's like part of the routine. But this is one that I actually saw, like my skin just like, came to life and that's like i'm not even exaggerating like this is just a random setting spray that i pulled from my drawer that i've had for who knows how many months um and i actually haven't even ever heard of this brand i don't think so that's really cool i really like this a lot this is this is good and then i think the highlighter is the last product that i used and for some oh there it is i was like looking at my desk i probably checked like six times looking for this and i could not find it but i just found it <laughs> the cody airspun loose face highlighter in the shade snow much ice this is so pretty it really melted into the skin i feel like sometimes loose setting powders or loose highlighters kind of like sit on top of the skin but this really buffed into the skin and that is absolutely gorgeous i'm definitely gonna check out their other colors i think there was like two or three of them i bought this at walmart so i'm gonna have to go back there and look into it so yeah that was today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up i love you guys so so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next one bye